Devaney to left. Chance for Riquet. He won't get there. It bounces down. Takes a high hop. Has to reach up and field it. That allows Gallison to get to third. And Devaney's into second base with his 17th double of the season. And Devaney continues to be a, a big bat. Fastball lifted to left. Riquet, track, wall. This ball is history. A three-run shot for Adcock, his 11th of the year, and the Phoenix put a crooked number on the scoreboard in the first. And the pressure that I talked about in the beginning, able to find that, getting those two runners on. The 3-2. Strike three called, ring him up. Back-to-back -back K's for Brunovich to begin the ball game. That's a... Bronovich from the winds. Hogarth gets jammed, shoots it to left, sliding and making the play. Gallison. A 2-2 deal to Smith at the plate for William & Mary. It's going to be hit into right field. That one's going to get down. Stanley hustling over. One run is going to come around to score. And Smith is going to be thrown out, trying to get back to first, made a wide turn, and credit Stanley again. The hustle over, the throw back in. Prosperi in a jam for his second batter. That was going to be well hit into left center field. That will score two runs. Stanley on the move, making the turn at second. The ball is bobbled in the outfield. He'll stand up with a double. And the Phoenix have built the lead now to 5-1. Stay hot. Tyler Stanley is fifth hit in the last two days. Breaking ball smacked to right. This will drive in a run. Satterfield touches home, throw to third, Adcock will be out. With the creativity and the, the rotation adjustment that you'll use going forward. Being checked, but Satterfield gets a hold of that one. Hit the left center field, it's down, takes a bounce, hits the wall. Satterfield's going to go standing up to second. Just as we were singing the praises of Prosperi, Joe Satterfield catches up to one, working with Adcock. Back up the middle. That'll get through, and it should send Satterfield to the plate. It will. He'll come up standing up. And the Phoenix increased their lead now to 7-1. to one. And He's going to send one to left center field. That is going to send Cone running back, and Cone cannot get to it. Off the wall. Sperlin making the turn at first. Goes in standing up to second. That's the Phoenix. It's the Seahawks. Taking advantage of some opportunity as Stanley sends one into right field and trotting home will be Sperlin. Stanley stopping at first. It's now an 8-1 lead, the 10th hit of the day for the Elon Phoenix. In the fourth inning against JMU on Wednesday. A two-run home run, but he gets all of that one there. Launched to right center field, and that ball is out of here. Riquet struggling no more. His second home run of the tournament. It cuts the lead to 8-2. William and Mary still some work to do, but only one out, and that's sort of what they replicate that in the ninth. Oldham hits it high and deep to center field. Cone back, warning track, reaches out, can't get it. Devaney on his horse, he will round third and score. Oldham headed for three, and it's an RBI triple for Matt Oldham. First three-bagger of the season, and Elon gets the run back that they gave away in the last of the eighth. It's at least ending up clapping and stomping. Ground ball could be two. Devaney to Sperlin to Oldham. Double play ends it for the Phoenix, and Elon will play for a conference championship against UNCW.